Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all okay. There's no intro to this video, but it's a little like, mm, like get ready with me Q&A sort of thing. Um, I really hope you enjoy it and I hope you're all good. I know, without further ado, let's get into the video. Um, I can't say I'm looking forward to a nap tonight because I went out last weekend and I spent so much money. Like it's not even a joke. I don't know what I do, but like as soon as I'm out, I just think I'm like made of money and like buy people drinks. like and by myself like an unnecessarily and then unnecessary amount of drinks and my skin has never been worse than it is right now so love that for us really um because it's awful so happy days but anyway how are we all how is everyone doing i'm doing it really good at the moment um and i'm just loving life someone messaged me the other day and we're like oh you look like you're doing really well um, I do want to like touch on that though because like obviously I don't want to give like the wrong impression like obviously people like on social media just show like their highlights they never really show like the bad parts and um, so yeah I am low in life massively like I'm just keeping myself really busy and stuff but then at the same time like things aren't always easy so never compare yourself like and how like your hard days um because obviously oh my god because <clears throat> obviously everyone has bad days and yeah they're just not really i try but like obviously when you're feeling like really bad then you just don't show it on social media so um yeah just what i'm trying to say really is just don't compare yourself to people because um obviously no one's gonna show like their, them at their worst all over their instagram sort of thing um so yeah but i am i'm keeping myself so busy i've been up so much recently with all the girls and I've just been living my best life. Um, obviously it was my birthday not long ago and I had such a good time then. Um, and yeah, and since then I've just been out and keeping busy. I finished college now, which is nice. Um, I'm done for summer, which is really good because obviously like I just needed it. I needed it to be summer to be honest. Like going in all the time, like bloody hell, it was tough, but oh, my bed's not even made. Like that's quite embarrassing. Yeah, like, I literally said to my mum, like, how the hell did I actually finish year 12? Like, it, it baffles me how I, like, actually did it, but I did. Because, obviously, there were some of the worst times, but anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Um, how is everyone who is watching Love Island? Because I am, and, oh, I'm in love. I think it is so good. Like, I have spoke to quite a few people about it. Well, not really. Like, I was speaking to Amelia and Kyle, and we all really like it. Um, I was speaking to a few of the girls at Facebook yesterday, and they were like, oh, it's like shit, it's shit. But I thought, it's, I actually think it's really good. Like, I'm actually loving it. Um, like, I can't explain. Like, I really enjoy it. And um, my favourite are, I think everyone's favourite is Lib uh, Liberty and Jake. Like, I just think I love them. But last night, Jake was like, oh, do I actually have like like her whatever and i was like well you cannot not like her because like you've literally like led her on well he's actually currently leading her on if he doesn't like her i'll be so annoyed because i think they're like a good match like it seems obviously you don't see everything but it seems like they get on and it seems like they like each other so hopefully they'll like pull through because i really like them together um who else do i like i really like Oh, I'm, I don't even know her name. The one that's just gone, Shannon. I really liked her, but obviously she's gone. So, but apparently I saw earlier that Amy Hart, who was on it before, said she might come back, um, like as a bombshell because that is so annoying. Like, obviously, if it wasn't COVID times, then fair enough. But like, she literally had to isolate for two weeks and like, like literally not see anyone for two weeks and get like a corona test, which aren't nice. Um, for her to literally be out in a day i would be absolutely fuming so yeah that is like my little rundown i don't really have much else to say about it i feel like the beginning of love island was always so rubbish like you like you can't really make an opinion on it like the first episode i was like oh my god this is absolutely shit but then like once it like starts getting into like the good episodes like give it a i think you've got to give it at least a week before you can start like making like full opinions on people because obviously and like who your favourite is but I think Liberty and Jake will be my favourites until they break up but I saw this tweet earlier um because they cracked me up like all the people tweeting about it and it was like I feel like Liberty is going to be the new like Shauna who else like Amber like the ones that 
at Catherine Moore, like they're happy from day one and then Catherine Moore happens and then it's just like as if they they don't exist. And I'll be really sad if that happens because like I said, I really like Liberty. But yeah, um, that's my little Love Island opinions. I feel like, I don't know if many people are watching it this year, to be honest. Um, I might put you, nah. Another thing I wanted to talk to you all about was like summer plans, like what's everyone's plans in the summer? Um, so I don't know if I said before, but obviously me and my friends have read and booked, which I'm literally praying to God that it happens because I think we will literally have the best weekend ever. Like me, Mel and Kyle were talking about it earlier and like how we just always, no matter what, have such a laugh when we're together. And I literally said, like, if it doesn't happen, I'll be so gutted because I just think we were, we would have had, like, the best time ever. Like, no matter what anyone says, I just think we would have loved life. But obviously, hopefully on, I can't remember what day it is. It's different here to what it is in England anyway. But hopefully when that sort of comes around that day, the 19th of July, is it? Um, which isn't actually long because Kyle's birthday is on the 18th and we were speaking about that as well yesterday and Kyle's birthday is in two weeks so um, me and Mel better get thinking of a present to be honest because I don't know what we're going to get him um, but yeah um, so hopefully we, me and my family actually have Spain book we booked it like a couple of days ago we did book Tenerife but obviously you can't travel there now um, and and I can't quarantine because of work and I don't think it would be worth going to Tenerife for two weeks to have to come back and quarantine to be honest like I said to my mum like it would be really nice but I just don't think I'd want to quarantine like I get my results on the 10th of August I think and I'd be in quarantine for that and I just think I'd be in quarantine for like a lot of things that I wouldn't want to miss like I'd rather stay home this year but we have booked Spain because that's on the green list um, which is really exciting um, and hopefully that stays on the green list and no one like changes their mind or because like you know what it's like but obviously if you're out there and the rules change you can't do anything about that but hopefully they won't change because like like I say like I want to have a good time to be honest I don't really think there's anything wrong with that but yeah um but so we've got Spain booked with Molly so that's really exciting because like holiday vlogs which I just love like when we were in Greece we filmed um holiday vlogs because we used to have a channel together but that didn't work um but yeah when we were in Greece we filmed Greece vlogs and they are the, my favorite ever videos to back on I cannot explain to you how much I love sitting there I could sit there all day and watch these videos because they're just so funny because like we had such a good time on holiday um, so hopefully we'll be able to go to Spain um, and like MAGA obviously it's literally 20 where we're staying is like 20 minutes away from Magaluf and I just think like oh we would have the best time of our lives like and I will be getting a tattoo like I don't care what anyone says I will I know what tattoo I'm going to get actually I just don't know where I'm going to get it but I won't tell you until I've got it in case I don't get it because I did I don't know if I told you but I did I did like when I went and got my nose done and I literally cried and couldn't get it done so but I think like with a with a tattoo like if like you've had a drink as well like I just think it doesn't really matter like you won't you won't remember it so just do it and it I will be getting one so we went out last weekend as well um another conversation now we went out last weekend and do you know when I was high I was in a rush I mean I have never been so rushed off my feet in my life than I was last weekend so this weekend um I literally saw Mill and Kyle about an hour ago and they were like do not be in a rush go home and start getting ready straight away and it's currently five past five and I'm going out at um half past five and I'm literally sat here like just having a chat with you all um so you know that's really good but I just cannot be not in a rush like it's so bad but we actually have like last week we didn't have a table book this week we actually have a table book so like it's not really like oh yeah don't worry about me like I'll be there like it's no like get a move on so I do need to get a move on I didn't have an outfit till about 10 minutes ago like I can't even explain to you yeah I didn't have an outfit till literally 10 minutes ago and I'm just a bit of a shambles like I just like you'd think I'd be like prepared like I've known I've been going out since I think the Wednesday or Tuesday 
and I'm just not in the slightest bit prepared like at all. I've also got a new thing for my hair for my curls because my curling thing ran out and it's actually so good like they look so good I think um so yeah that's exciting um what else can I talk to you about oh what else I'm doing this summer I think Redden well I don't think I am going to Redden let's all pray to the gods that it is on because I can't even explain to you how good it'll be if it, if it is cancelled because like me Mel and Kyle are well everyone's going like it's not even the case of like oh there's only a few people going every so you name someone and they are literally there like I can't even explain to you how excited I'm I am driving um oh it's so hard whoever says driving is easy they're lying if so, like I'm not gonna lie to any of you because like if any of you have like driving lessons coming up is well anyway i don't know if it's like i'm just like an idiot but i find it so difficult to be able to just like it's so much in your head and i just literally i'm sat there like like it's so hard to concentrate like if my man chris my driving instructor wasn't sat next to me i'd be dead like i can't even explain to you i find it so difficult i don't really know like but so many people are like oh it's the easiest thing ever like driving driving and on my first lesson, like, obviously the first lesson you can't really tell. But, like, I think I've done six lessons now. Like, how many lessons am I going to need? Because I, like, again, the money thing. Like, I've got money for, like, another few ten loads of lessons. But I can't keep going until I'm on, like, 300 lessons. Because I think that's a bit of a joke. I think I'd rather not learn to drive. Like, I was actually considering, like, stopping learning to drive the other day. Because I was just, like, like in like do i actually need to know how to drive or like is it just like standard like or everyone else knows like then i was like oh no it will be nice like i will have to do all my men's lifts so to be honest with you i just don't really know what to do like do i really want to drive that much yeah but do i want to go through the stress every week of having to get in the car and like try and remember how to do it not really so i don't really know what the answer is because like a bit of a predicament really also look how bad like outgrown my nails are like they were amazing when they first got them done but now they need to come off because they're my they're infill so i just want them off now and then obviously if we go on holiday i'll get them done before then but oh, that's what i wanted to say if i get like white nails for holiday because i'm gonna get my toes done as well i've never got my toes done because it kind of grosses me out but i need my toes done if I get white, is it going to stain? Like, is it going to go, like, like when you put sun cream on or whatever? Because, you know, always a SPF and all that. Like, is it going to look bad if I um, have white nails? Like, because people always say, never get white nails, never get white nails. But, like, I don't really want, like, I don't know what other colour to get. Because, like, I just feel like white goes with everything. Like, you can't really go wrong with it. You can't go off it because it's just white. Um... So what is everyone's opinion on that? Because I need to know. Because then I was going to go like a nice pattern. But then I just think, do I want to? Like, what am I going to do? Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm going to mean it. That was my mum saying we're going to be leaving in about five minutes. So this is my life right now. actually sat in my bra. Um, but yeah, I have such, like, how can you just be on time? I need to call my sister as well. Like, I'm such a mess. I also think there's been about 10 different camera angles. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I look minging. This isn't a vlog, but the outfit I was going to wear doesn't. I can't wear it. Because I don't have a bra that will look nice with the top. And Kyle's on his way to my house right now. So, I don't really know what I'm meant to do. Mm, slight mental breakdown check. So, you'll be really glad to know that the top never fitted. And looked rubbish so i've got on a racer top which is about three pound for a pretty little thing <laughs> what a great day to be alive just putting my jewelry on and i also don't have any socks so i'm gonna have to wear sandals at this rate or like heels or something so i don't really i just don't really know what to say to be honest because it's just topped off my day because i've had a really shit one i'm being quite frank with you but anyway Hope you all like this catch up. I was going to answer questions. I did have quite questions to answer, but I just remembered that I had questions after I would filmed the video. So maybe I'll film like a Q&A or something soon um, in a couple of weeks or something. 
um and yeah leave down below any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see and i'll be sure to film them i hope you're all doing it really well i'll speak to you all very soon love you all lots have a great weekend and yeah see you later bye guys